open blankets. Amy Bunny. Hello, everyone. Today I'm in the doctor's office. Wee! And he will tell us about digestion. Good day, doctor. Hi, Emmy. Doctor, what happens to the food after we have eaten it? Okay, let's see together. When we eat, our teeth help to grind the food. Saliva also appears in our mouth to moisten it. After swallowing, food enters the esophagus. It is a long tube, but food travels through it very quickly and goes into the stomach. Our stomach is very small when we are hungry, but it can stretch and hold up to three kilograms of food. To digest food, the stomach will secrete a special acid. It is so strong that it can even digest iron. But please, make sure to eat only food items. The acid is also important because it can destroy germs that have entered the stomach with the food. After the stomach, the food pieces continue their journey through the intestines. The intestines collect all the nutrients from it. Then, our food turns into a single mass. Oh, it's time to get rid of this. That's when we go to the toilet. Eat solid bamboo. Therefore, the 
The jaw of a panda is stronger than that of many predators. An adult panda eats up to 40 pounds of bamboo per day. Pandas do not like and are even afraid of rainy weather. At the first signs of bad weather, they try to hide and wait out the rain in some kind of shelter. Pandas are great climbers. They climb trees perfectly and can climb high into the mountains to spend a hot summer in a cooler place. I was very surprised to learn that there are six, not five fingers on the front legs of pandas. The six finger helps them grab and hold the bamboo. Pandas love to roll head over heels down steep hills. Doing this helps them avoid unpleasant encounters with predators. My report is over now. See you, bunnies. I will tell you about hedgehogs! A hedgehog is a small animal with a cute face and small legs. It is easy to recognize him by the spines that cover his back. Hedgehogs are nocturnal animals that prefer to sleep during the day and are active at night. Whee! Hedgehogs can be found in the forest, in the desert, and a few even live high in the mountains. Most live in meadows and areas with shrubs. I was surprised to learn that some species of hedgehogs swim well. When a hedgehog gets scared or is in danger, he will turn into a prickly ball. When the cold comes, the hedgehog finds a secluded place, settles down there, and sleeps until spring comes. Whee! That's all for now. I look forward to seeing you again, bunnies. Hi guys! Whee! Today, we are in my laboratory. And I will tell you about the different states of matter. Whee! What is matter? Everything around you is a type of matter. It is the water you drink, the air you breathe, the food you eat. What are the states of matter? Liquid, solid, and gas. Water flows from the faucet. It is liquid. The liquid has no form, but takes the shape of its container. Let's fill the test tubes of different shapes and see. Water takes the form of a square in this one. Water has become round in a round vessel. Water became triangular in a triangular vessel. Matter has its specific shape in the solid state. The ball is brown. Pizza is triangle. Book is rectangle. Gas, like liquid, does not have a definite shape. Most often, the gas cannot be seen with the eyes, but its properties can be noticed. Whee! It happens that gas is lighter than the air we breathe. Balloons can be filled with gas called helium and float in the air. Another type of matter is plasma. Our sun is made of plasma. This is a very, very hot gas. There you are, friends. I hope you enjoyed today's report. See you. Hello. Today, my report is straight from the farm. Now, I'll tell you what I learned about farm animals. I found yeah, out that cows remember their names and respond to them, just like dogs. Horses love music. They like <laughs> instrumental music that soothes or inspires. But loud music can make them angry. Up to 30 pounds of wool is sheared from an adult <laughs> sheep at a time. I learned that ducks are excellent divers. They can dive for food to a depth of six yards. I was also surprised to learn that pigs can be great swimmers. But they need to learn this since they cannot swim from birth. 